Hello everyone, this is Pablo Linares with HDI Global. During my courses uh, related to the medium group, 212, 412, 205, Huey 2, single legal, uh, one of the questions that come aboard when we're talking about the anator system is the reason why a 42 gear box. The reason for the 42 gear box is just only to change the angle to bring the, the driving forces up to the 90 gear box as the tail rotor is uh, uh, brought up kind of at the same height as the main rotor. And the reason for it is to reduce the torsional forces of the A-frame. That's why the tail rotor is kind of a, almost at the same height of the main rotor. This way, the anti-torque forces between the main rotor and the tail rotor are gonna be kind of the same axis, reducing this way all the stress in the A-frame. That's why the attaching point of the tailbone to the forward fuselage is only four bolts. So in a way, uh, it's part of the designs. And if you look over any uh, mod of helicopter, different brands, you're gonna see that when the helicopter is getting heavier, we bring the uh, tail rotor up. Uh, Sikorsky, uh, Leonardo, uh, Bell, uh, pretty much any medium group. Uh, and the number, as far as I know, is about 9,000 pounds where everything changed. If you look at any other helicopter in a light group, like a 429, 407, 206, AF350, um, uh, any other uh, small helicopter, you're gonna see that the tail rotor is not as high as the main rotor. And the reason for it, because the forces for the anti-torque are not that high. Now you're gonna see when he crank it up and it's ready to take off, I put some references. The arrow on the two lines that give you a good reference. As soon as uh, you take off, you're gonna see the, the, the camera moving around. You have to remember the camera is installed in a fixed location on the stinger of the uh, tailbone. So any movement you're gonna see in the video is the tailbone flexing due to the anti-torque. So all the torsional forces created between the anti-torque uh, on the tail rotor and fighting against the main rotor, you're gonna see the tailbone flexing a lot. And you have to remember, on this takeoff, the bucket is empty and it only you have one pilot in the cabin. So this helicopter is not on the max gross weight. Look over and I hope you enjoy the video. Have a good day.